Today on this very mediocre channel, we're gonna look at how to get rid of banding in your footage. G'day, welcome back. G'day, how we're going? I'm okay. I'm having an awful week at work. That is my other job, not my good job. That is a different job, but who cares about that? Let's talk about deep banding, a very exciting subject. So we have this footage here and we have some god awful deep banding going on. Now, just to prove that this hasn't come about because of any sort of LUT or anything like that, I'll just turn it all off. And you can barely tell. So what we'll do, we'll put the um, color space transforms on. And you can see that banding if we zoom in real close and have a look. Anyway, you can see these lines going this way. So it looks god awful. So what we can do is we can quickly fix it. Now, I'm not sure if you have this option in DaVinci Resolve free version. So I'm sorry if you only had the free version. I know I have it in the studio because, well, I own the studio version. So let's look at how to get rid of it. It's quite simple, but there is a little bit of a trick that you need to do to make your footage look like it's not made of mush. So I have my node set up here. I'm not gonna go through the nodes because we've all done this before. Color space transform, etc., etc. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up to our effects here. We're gonna click this little search button. Very exciting. Press DE for D band. Come to our D band, put it on our node here probably turn it on that would make more sense now looking at our footage it looks god awful and that is because d-band is basically debanding our whole image not the stuff that we want selected so what we can do really easily is just put a power window around our little banded area so i'm going to use the pen tool because the pen tool is hands down the best of the power windows and if you don't like it well i'm sorry you live a sheltered life and that you don't like the pen tool so now what we can do is we can soften it out in and that looks pretty good to me and we really just want to make a really soft edge so we don't want like a hard edge so it looks really obvious we have that deep banding going on so we can just also bring it out just a little bit and maybe bring it in a little bit more okay we're going to press shift f and this is going to bring up our effects in a much happier little window here so we can change our radius if we like but we're going to leave it to three to find our or post refine sorry so as you can see on these edges here how much effect we are doing so i'm going to say around about there looks pretty good and our edge threshold so that is basically working with our power window so we just keep it around about there looks pretty good now because we can get out of this shift f again now, because our little friends here are hanging out in these camels, is that what they are? I think they're camels. Um, and they're moving, or well, the image is moving, we need to track it. So come down to our tracking here and press Control T to track forward. And then press Alt T to track backwards. And now we have our track. Now, a real pro tip for you, if your tracking is not working properly, take off perspective. Honestly, I never track with perspective. I think it's actually quite useless, but you know, if you're having trouble with your track, just take that off. And another tip is if you're having trouble with your tracking, you can always go frame by frame, which actually I do more often than not when working on my, well, working on projects, not my projects, working on music videos and anything like that. I usually go frame by frame. It, seems to work a lot better but anyway that is just a quick tip i have a video coming out hopefully soon where i'll go through all the tracking you need to successfully track in any project that you do but anyway enough about that this is our debanding so we should probably do a before and after here is our footage with the you know what let's go big screen here is our footage with the banding still happening in the sky here obviously it looks god awful and then turn that deep banding effect on and now we have a smooth looking sky. So, I mean, that looks fantastic to me. We can't even tell that we put that effect on. It looks a little bit wonky over here with these mountains. So we might want to come down and change it up and do a little bit of adjustments to make it look like it's all natural and fantastic. But anyway, it looks pretty good to me. And for a really quick and easy thing we just did, I mean, you know, great. I've run out of words to say. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you want to see anything else, make sure to drop a comment below. I appreciate all your comments. I will read them all and I'm sure I will reply to all of them, if not most of them. Um, that's about it. Hopefully I have more content and better content coming soon. Again, I will probably quit one of my jobs. So hopefully that's going to free up a lot of time. So I can go out and film more and give more free footage out and we can work through some color grading techniques I've recently been exploring 
and it's all very exciting and uh, hopefully I'm hopefully going to shoot a 16 millimeter short film where we can go through that footage together and you might be able to download it. Maybe there might be a small price. I haven't really worked it out yet, but I assure you it will be cheaper than anything else you're gonna find on like Art Grid or anything like that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Who cares? Let's talk about this. We just did. Okay, I've been Drew from Haiti Films. Thanks for watching and have a great day.